Polyandry is the practice of one woman having multiple husbands. I have two husbands who love me. <laughs> There's definitely like a double standard. When a female has multiple partners, it's, oh my gosh, she's such a slut. She sleeps around. How is it the sleeping situation? Not all one room. No. Uh, I'm on room and then she shares a room with him. Oh. You know, you were the first man I let my partner, you know, Kim be with. I was watching my partner fall for another man right before my eyes. And how are you going to juggle three guys like that? I'm Elisa. I'm Mike. And we've been married for almost four years. It really is like a perfect beach day today. Yeah. It's like it's not gorgeous. too hot yet. Mike and I met at a music festival. I think I knew Mike was the one I kind of knew right away. Like I could talk to him about anything, like everything just felt easy. And then I met Elisa and I was like, oh, like, I think I think she's she's the one like who I can see myself like wanting to marry and like be with <laughs> long term. Yeah, this is this is a real thing. Our personalities are pretty opposite, but in like the best ways. I'm a social media manager. And I'm a mechanical engineer. <laughs> this is more your speed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely a, a little more yeah. rigid, a little more structured, less spontaneous. <laughs> and Elise yeah. is pretty much the exact opposite. Very, very <laughs> in the moment. Yeah. Wears her emotions on her sleeve. Mm -hmm. Oh. My God. oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Mike is partner number one. Partner number two is hopefully on the way. Okay, your drink's ready. Awesome, thank you. Um, do you want to come help me? Yeah, let me just break out Alcatraz. Polyamory is when somebody has multiple intimate relationships. Is this for me right here? That one's yours. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. That's considerate of you. Mm -hmm. Polyandry is when a female has multiple husbands. That's something that Mike and I are like really looking for. I kind of wanted to like look through these and kind of pick and choose which ones we want to like put in here. Oh. I know, this is like the best. Yeah. As soon as we met, it was like we were inseparable. Yeah, I mean, we just, I think we'd fallen in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I had such like a struggle, like when, you know, I met that guy line dancing. I cheated on Mike while we were dating, not because I was unhappy with our relationship, but because I, I just had this really intense connection with somebody else. That's what was so hard. It was like, why do I feel this way about this other person if our relationship is so good? Yeah. I didn't know at the time that like, we can have a great relationship and I can still like somebody else. It was quite the, uh, the rocky, path yeah. to get to this point. Yeah, it was definitely really hard. We had to go everything through everything that we've been through in order to like get to where we are now. We both established that we wanted to continue our relationship. Yeah. And so like, you know, that was big step number one. Like we do want to continue this thing. Yeah. And then big step number two is just like, how do we want this relationship to look moving forward? Um, I had read some like psychology and dating books and I was open to the idea. I had to ask myself a lot of questions. Do I want to stay with her to pursue multiple partners? I already want to break up with her. I decided to stay with her and just grow from there. My name is Kenya. This is Carl, my husband of 26 years. And this is Tiger, my husband of 10 years. Look at this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Carl and I are entrepreneurs. We run several companies online, and we've written several books together. For a living, I'm an investor. I sit around and look at numbers and charts and watch stock market all day. <laughs> Every lady should have two husbands. I'm legally married to Carl for the past 26 years. We have three kids together. When we decided that we wanted to have this multiple relationship structure in our marriage, we went straight to our kids and talked to them about it. We told them exactly what it was, exactly what it was not, and we always kept the door open for them to ask questions, share their thoughts, opinions, feelings, and we always supported them. All right. Get a different task. But did you see the legs under there? I have oh, other legs. tasks. 
In the 12th year of our marriage, Carl and I decided that I was going to have multiple partners because I had met and fallen for another guy. So I came back and reported that to Carl. So we decided to talk about it. Like, what do we do? How do we go about this? And that began a two-year journey of Kenya and I just kind of discussing things. We just had to figure things out. So we discussed it for a number of years. I finally came into the knowledge and understanding about feminine you know, expression and realized you have to allow women to be free and express themselves. And as a man, I, I need to support her in doing that. I met Tiger at a Halloween party. He was dressed as Tiger Woods, and he was looking hot and sexy. Well, I came out and uh, had a dance with you, so we had a nice little romantic, slow dance. Uh, it was real nice. Yes. <laughs> and so I decided, you know, I'm going to pursue this. I'm going to see where this leads to. Right. So those just go right up there, and then the green painting goes in the center. All right. I'm super multifaceted. It feels like Carl fits one part of who I am, philosophical and spiritual, and, oh, we have these deep conversations. And then the other part is, like, thrill-seeking, excitement, traveling, and that's who Tiger fits. But I'm both of those people <laughs> in one body, so I like to have those multiple partnerships. Is it one nail for each painting? Uh, it's probably going to be two. Let's do the big painting first. We're all basically trailblazers in this way, and we all support each other. And that's why I'm so ready to support Tiger and Kenya whenever they need support in their relationship or anything else. I think a lot of what people see on a day-to-day -day is kind of like the whys. Why would anybody do that? Why would that man invite you into his house and have you with his wife? Why? It's a benefit to have another person there. It's a benefit to have somebody that you can kind of relate to, that you can trust versus just having some random person come in. Or cheating. And cheating, just. Lying, hiding, sneaking. Yeah, it, it really <laughs> adds a lot of serenity to the home. I'm Kim. I am a teacher. I'm Dustin. I'm a massage therapist. And we have been together for about 13 years. Wedded bliss for about 11. I have three sons. Two were from my first marriage. They're 15 and 16 now, Julian, Matisse. Kim and I have a uh, seven-year-old together. His name is Cohen. We should raise ducks. It's not a bad idea. Hey, let's get that What's chicken cheese? duck. Kim <laughs> looks like a chicken. I know. Kim and I met when I returned to school after uh, getting divorced, and I decided to return to college. And one of the classes I took, um, she ended up to be uh, one of my instructors. I actually turned him down the first time because I thought I would get in trouble. I was like, I can't date students. Um, but he persisted, asked me out again, and I went to my supervisor to ask how all that worked, got the go-ahead that I was okay to date him, and yeah. It was like, wow, this is intense and um, powerful, and I mean, we knew within weeks that, that we would likely spend the rest of our lives together. It was it love at first sight. Mm-hmm. I'll get out the All right, vegetables. yeah, we need the peppers and the zook. Peppers. And... Zucchini. Yes. The red peppers, too. Red peppers. Previously to meeting Dustin, um, I, I had been married before. I was raised in the traditional Christian household. You don't live together or have sex until you get married. So when I was in college, I was dating a guy. He was a preacher's kid. He was a Christian as well. So um, we just grew up, um, and we grew apart. Dustin and I were both kind of in that same stage of leaving that first marriage and like having to start all over again. I think a big part of just conflict resolution all is just showing up. Right. Um, we had a bit of a falling out with my family right before we got married. It was kind of when things were revealed that I um, was kind of having a change in faith and was wanting, you know, not lining up with the Christian values anymore. They, they kind of blamed Dustin and thought that, you know, he was the one to kind of turn me away from God and pull me away from the church and all that, which wasn't the truth at all. I was on that journey before Dustin even came into my world. When we first got together, if you would have told me that we would be in the position we are now with seeking multiple partners, I would have told you we're crazy. Never would have really seen this coming. I'm, I'm not surprised we ended up like this mm -hmm. because we were so dedicated to each other's spiritual growth and our sexuality and sensuality are directly tied to our spirituality and who we are and our identity. Vincent was like our guinea pig. And like, I felt yeah. like he 
we were still learning so much in those early days about our relationship, what we want, what we don't want, how things are gonna work. And he just had to kind of be there. Is he gonna wanna spend time with me, you know, right. outside of you? Can we hang out? Can we right. go, go see some music? You know, right, I know you really club. wanted that. You know, you right. wanted it to be a friend that you could spend time with um, and it be a, uh, you know, a community. It's not like right. I'm just, I have a second partner who you don't know or ever spend time with. And that's what we both wanted. Vincent is the first man that I've been with and that I've dated since Dustin and I have decided to pursue multiple partners. We met each other just through mutual friends and uh, we started communicating on social media. It was an immediate connection just between the physical attraction and then um, the intellectual attraction. Kim came into my life during a time that was very difficult for me. I had already gone through the shame, the embarrassment of two failed marriages I was really hard on myself with how those marriages ended, how it affected my kids, Brianna, and my youngest is Lani. And you meet somebody who sees the best in many situations, and then whenever she looked at me, she could see the pain, she could see the shame, she could see all these other things, and she just accepted me. It was very intense for all of us. Sure. I mean, Vincent and I had very strong feelings for each other and it all just happened so quickly. I think I right. got super overwhelmed at first because I'm trying to figure out, like, wow, I can really love two men at the same time. Like this, you know, completely goes against everything I've been taught. And, right. um, and it just being really overwhelming with it being that first real relationship. Right, and I'm trying to figure out where, where do I sit in it? Like, what's right. my relationship with him? I thought maybe it would just be kind of her and Vincent have their own thing and it's separate from our family, but it seemed like all of a sudden our families were just able to mesh together so well with his girls and, and my son. And it was uh, kind of mind boggling. It was really surprising that we all got along so well. I was really thankful to have a best friend somebody could confide in. My name is Shara. I'm an artist, I'm a creator. Oh, babe, this is beautiful. Thank you. Mm. See how it goes. Mm -hmm. This is my wonderful, magnificent husband, Patrick, but only call him Babe. We've been together for 13 years now. I met my husband working for a CPA. He came in doing my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was actually preparing his file and uh, he gave me his card and kind of winked at me a couple times. And we went on a date. And we just never parted ways. Babe, splash it again. Do it all over again. And to my right is Charming, Noble, and we've been together for two years. And he goes by Noby. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Not yet. Not yet. He's the other, other man in my life. <laughs> if someone would have told me that down the road y'all would have a second husband, you gonna leave my leg hanging? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, I got you. I got you. I would have said, "You're out of your mind. You're crazy. It's not, not gonna happen." Hey, good morning, babe. Hey. How are you? Doing good. The idea of exploring having another partner uh, came about about four years ago. When Babe and I first started dating, we were pretty hot and heavy. But as time went on, we kind of got into like a lot of stress and strain. Unfortunately, I had a car accident. I couldn't really speak. I had to kind of learn how to be mobile again. And I think that's when I start seeing a decline in our, uh, in our sex life. The fire between me and Shara started to kind of like wither. My confidence was shattered. You know, I didn't feel attractive anymore. I didn't feel like I was desirable. That's what really, really initiated everything. We did not really put in the work and we were more comfortable where we were. We were in a sexless marriage almost for 10 years. 
I didn't get a divorce from Bay because he has been the greatest joy in my life. I don't see what life would look like without him. That was the hardest part. People really think just because you don't have sex that it's not a real marriage. Everybody says, oh, you guys don't, ha you guys weren't having sex, so you should leave him. You really should leave your husband. And I'm like, I would never leave my husband. Gotta get this food warmed up. I know you don't want it in the microwave. I just said to him, you're not responsible for my emotional stability, and we have to do something different, possibly part ways or having another partner. Yo, yo. What's going on? All right, got a little spread going. I met Noble at a retreat. He was the first person I saw. And uh, he asked, where are you from? I said, Atlanta. He said, oh, looks like I need to move there. Black bald with a beard. She has a type. <laughs> I was attracted to Noble because he has this boy wonder type of adventurous demeanor about himself very carefree, lives by the seat of his pants. Noble is a comic book creator, and I found it interesting that he was involved in the world of creating and writing stories. Things were just like kind of off to the races. It was just real fast, real heavy, and then next thing I know, I was moving into her and Patrick's house. Shara having multiple partners actually helps both of us out. She gets to like explore and have all her needs met, and I get to literally work at peace and focus on business at hand. 